Boy, it's so quiet out here today. Ah, I can feel the history. Hey, Namaskar everyone. How are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Now, as always, welcome back means we are on another adventure. And that also means that you're going to want to know where we are and what we're doing. So let's start with where we are. We are in Youngstown, Ohio, but where exactly in Youngstown, Ohio are we? We are at Belmont Park Cemetery. Now, that is not what our adventure is going to be about, but uh, what our adventure is going to be about, the man that has to do with that is resting at the cemetery. And that's why I figured I'd start my video here. That man would be Joseph Green Butler Jr. And right there in front of us is the Butler family plot. Joseph Butler Jr. was born in 1840 and he passed away in 1927. Now, he was not born in Youngstown, Ohio. He was actually born in Mercer County, Pennsylvania, a little area called Temperance Furnace. Now, I don't even know if that even exists anymore. I would doubt it. Hopefully, there would be some kind of markers there um, or whatnot. Um, I guess that's kind of more of like the Hadley, Newcastle area of Pennsylvania. His father was into the early furnace uh, era. Now, at an early age, uh, his family moved closer to the area of Youngstown. They moved to Niles, Ohio, which is kind of just a little, you know, hop, skin, skip, and a jump um, from where we are right now. But Joseph Butler jr he was a industrialist he was a philanthropist he was a historian he was uh into the iron business and he was actually friends with a lot of presidents he was actually friends with presidents from abraham lincoln which was I'm trying to think. Abraham Lincoln, what was that, our 16th president? 16th president, I believe. Abraham Lincoln. So from our Abraham Lincoln, which was our 16th president, to Kelvin Coolidge. Just that name right there. That kind of reminds me of a, uh, if I'm watching uh, Disco Fever or something, Kelvin Coolidge. Kind of puts me in that era of that whatever. Because some presidents have that, those crazy mottos and stuff like when they're they're running for term or whatever it, you know make america great again and so I, i'm not putting any kind of politics into my video like that but um i'm just naming it kelvin coolidge uh i believe when he was running it was keep cool and keep coolidge so i don't know i thought that's kind of neat i like you know what man history history's cool man history's awesome it's it's not always it's not always good, but it's fun and interesting when you can learn about it. But yeah, keep cool and keep coolage. But yeah, Joseph Butler Jr. was friends with, and I, and like I said, I don't know if he was actually friends. I don't know if they hang out, you know, or whatever, but they were acquaintances. So from Abraham Lincoln all the way to Kelvin Coolidge. Now, he was also into art. He was big into art. He loved his art. Now, at this time period that he was in, everybody wanted European art. That was the fancy art. That was the, you know, glamorous art, the European art. But Butler Jr. knew that America at some point would have some of the finest art and artists and artists around. And he was exactly right. Um, he collected art, and he had his own private collection. 
And he, he wanted to share that with people. He really did. He wanted, to, he wanted to make that public. He wanted people to enjoy his art. Um, but let's talk about this right now. This is, this is the Butler family plot, like I said. Okay. And there is, I always found this one fascinating because there's nothing there. Like, it's just a plain, just there's nothing on that right there. There's nothing there. But you can see the name Butler right there. Yeah, look at that. There's like nothing on it. It's just, it's just clean. It's, it, there's nothing. But uh, here is this side and there's some flowers up there roses some some a uh, branch right there this one's holding an urn yeah i'll go around the back too i'll show you all this um yeah i always like this memorial right here this memorial stone again nothing on the back Nothing on the back at all. And, yeah, again, I wanted to start my video here. Um, so we could, uh, when we get to what our adventure is going to be about, and I'll tell you that in a minute, we know the man. We know where he's at in, in, why it, it it's there and why we can enjoy it but right here is joseph green butler jr i know it's hard to see okay but there's the i'll see it yeah i can get close joseph green butler jr and I don't know if you can see that, but there's the 1840 right there, and then 1927. And I believe, I believe that he passed away on his actual the 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 eve of his birthday. Um, I believe is when he passed. But, but what is our adventure going to be about today? Well, I kind of told you in a way, but like I said, he had he had a private collection of paintings. He started collecting American art. He wanted to show that to the public. He wanted to be free to the public. He wanted the public to enjoy it. So he made a museum for it. It's it's going to be a good day. I think it's going to be a good today. It's going to be a good day today. But he made a museum for that, and that's what our adventure is going to be about today. I am going to take you to the butler. So, if you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay for watching my channel. Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not. Stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malanga. And for today's adventure, 
we made it we are at the butler now that is a nickname um, it's actually the Butler Institute of American Art. It opened up in 1919. Now, we talked about this. I started the video at Joseph Green Butler Jr.'s uh, site of where he's resting today. This is the museum that he made to share his uh, private art, and he wanted to make it publicly. This is the Butler. This is a free museum, pro bono. This is probably one of the best museums, I think, in Youngstown. I don't know how many people actually come here to check this out, but if you're not utilizing this, you are crazy. This is some of the best art ever around. Um, now, what you're looking at right now, like on the different sides, like that's new. Um, actually, that part is new, new, but this building right here just what you're looking at in front was butler jr's original building it didn't go beyond that that's what it was when he passed away he actually had his memorial service at this museum um and he left most of his estate which was about a million and a half dollars to the butler um he wanted to, he wanted people to enjoy this for the end of time, really. I, I did this, this is what it was here for. Um, now, we're gonna walk up there a little further. Um, when he did build this, uh, he had three statues created, and the artist was J. Massey Rind. The first one you come to is the Indian Scout right there. I'm not gonna walk on the grass. Actually, I think I am going to. This right here, he's in a full headdress right here. He's an Indian scout. And this is probably one of my favorite statues in Youngstown right here. How cool is that, right? That is great. And he's just looking over. He's just looking over at the city of Youngstown. Now, just keep in mind, right now, we are pretty much by downtown Youngstown. We're in Penguin territory. This is this is YSU. This is the university down here. Back in the day, this was the the uh, the the, the, uh, the steel mills and such. Millionaires Row, okay? But all before that, the native Indians owned this territory. This was their land. Um now if you want to know, if you want to delve a little bit more into that and you want to know a little bit more about that, um, go back in a, one of my older videos. You would go to my videos, scroll down a little bit, and it would be uh, on Lincoln Park and Council Rock. And you would learn a little bit more about that. Actually, if he's looking, I'm trying to think of where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, I was going to say he may be looking towards Council Rock area, but he's not. It, it would be more that way if he was looking towards Council Rock. But J. Massey Ryan, that was his bronze statue. And that kind of sets the tone, that kind of sets the tone to what this museum is about. It was the first museum in the United States to be, you know, strictly dedicated to American art. We talked about that. Uh, Butler Jr. was into his American art. He knew that the, the, the America would have some of the top artists in, in art around, and he was right in saying that. So, yeah, that, uh, that is the first statue. Now, the second statue, there's actually one here that we're going to look at. This one here and that one down there. And we'll go this way. Yeah, this is all new right here. Uh, they built this up. I, I've actually been in here. I come to this museum quite often. This this part they just built up. Like it was just that half wall, and you could see the stairs and stuff going in there. This is newer this year. They finished it up, and we're we're gonna go in there. But yeah, this. Let me just show you when he built this. When he built this back in 1919, this right here, just this from there to this, okay that that was the original museum 
that he had to show off his personal collection. It didn't go beyond this at all. It was just, it was just that. It was just that. But yeah, that's, this is an awesome building. I hope a lot of people come down here. And if you haven't, I, 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 I really suggest you come and check this out and, and uh, utilize this uh, museum. And, you know, uh, show, show Joseph Butler Jr. that you appreciate his legacy and what he left behind for us. But right here is Apollo. He's the Greek god of music, poetry, and dance. Got that seashell, you know, they're indented into the, into the uh, marble there. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, I forget what kind of music instrument that's called. But yeah, how awesome is that, right? We'll walk over. We're going to walk over. I'll tell you what. I'll go, I'll go over this way because I do want to show you something uh, in the middle there. That's, that's an awesome entryway right there. Super cool entryway. Look at the ceiling up top. I'll check that out. I'll go, I'll go in there because we're going to be going in there anyway. But here over here, this is the goddess of wisdom, science, and arts. This is Minerva. So this is the three statues that he created um, when it was opened for Butler Jr. The other seashell kind of support right there. Got the serpents look. I don't know if you notice. I mean, you come up close to some of these park places. There's the serpent. Got like the sun on the disc here. What's that? A shield? Looks like some kind of shield right there. So, yeah. Very awesome. Very awesome. And we'll talk about that church a little bit more when we get inside. Because uh, later on, um, they ended up purchasing this church. Uh, for, for storage really and it there's a couple art installations in there that is actually cool I don't know how many people actually go over to check out they're probably one of my favorites uh, but yeah they got the skywalk going over to it I don't know what's going on here either sometimes you come here and like there's no one here and I, I don't know if they have an event going on in here so <laughs> I don't know might be in trouble but uh yeah, you come up here and you look up on top of the doors. Pro Bono Publico. Free to the public is what that means. So I don't know how many, I always tell you look up and look down because you always find something. Yeah, right there. Pro Bono Publico. Free to the public. And that was what his legacy was. When he left this behind, he left most of his estate here he wanted people to enjoy this he wanted it to be free to the people just keep in mind when he did open this that there was only like 30 to 30 30 to 34 pieces of his private collection in here so it wasn't very big it wasn't very big at all but um come on you stand right here y'all yeah if you look i mean just always look up because look got different uh just the color of that is really cool up there the windows that light right there that's a nice light they have the old uh sayings around the front yeah i did take i think somewhere i have a couple pictures of this somewhere that uh, that i've taken but uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna check this I'm going to take you inside. A lot of old art in here. A lot of new art. One of the reasons I wanted to go in here today is because Paul Stanley of KISS has an art installation in here. I've already checked it out. I think it's really cool. His art is awesome. Um, but I'm going to take you to it. 
And I see somebody with a Kiss shirt right there. I like the shirt, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, do you, do you like it in there? That's awesome. That nice cool. art, man. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go in here and check this out. There's the hours. They are closed on Mondays. Now, when you come in here, when you come in here, you know you're... You know you're in somewhere special. This is a super special museum. Very awesome in here. And like I said, this would have been the original building in here. But uh, I'm gonna treat this like a temple and I'm gonna go to the left and we'll walk around and I'll show you what the museum has to offer. All right, so like I said, I'm starting to the left. You walk in through the front doors, you can go to the right. You can go to the left. I'm treating it like a temple. But right off the bat, you just you just know. You just feel the history in here, especially if you know the past, especially if you know why, um, why this is here. And no matter where you go, it has all the information um, of all the art and artists. Artists. I don't know why I want to say artists. <laughs> and I will give you a little a little. Uh, hint on this see these barriers right here they're electronic barriers if you reach over and you're looking you're trying to get a, a, a deeper look into the painting they go off and they'll tell you get away from the painting i know that personally i was trying to look what i forget what painting i was looking at. i had my glasses up and i'm looking in there told me to get away from the painting but uh this is the 18th and 19th century uh area I'm not gonna stop at every painting. I'm just gonna kind of show you the area. I'll stop at some of my favorites and actually, um, man, yeah, this these are these are great. These are great. I think they might have moved. I think they might have moved some stuff around. Now, I know on the second floor, it's like a rotating installation. Uh, they they change all the time, but very awesome paintings in here. Yeah, if you, if you don't come here, you're crazy. You're crazy. This is one of my favorites right here. I don't know why. I just think this is awesome. I think it's great. John James Audubon. The Fox and Goose. That is, I like that. That's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites. There used to be one here. That's why I say there used to be one here that I really used to like, and I don't see it here no more. Um, they might have moved it. Yeah, this is, this is great. There's the two, Apollo and Minerva, right there. There is the Indian Scout, and right here, right, oh, right there it tells you everything I just told you right now. Yep, J. Massey Rind, he was the one that made the three. There he is right there. There's uh, there's the artist of that right now. A lot of cool history in here. A lot of very cool history. And that's probably hard to see in there. Uh, yeah, that that's too hard to see in there. I don't want to get close because I don't want anything going off. I'll try to show you all the art, but like I said, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop at every one. But we will be going through the whole museum. One, yeah, this is probably the top museum in Youngstown, I'm telling you right now. This is another one of, of my favorites here. I, I, like I said, art just... It's a feeling you get when you look at and you can't explain it most of the time. But this one is great. So Ralph Earl, the Stryker Sisters. I've always liked this one. And here we go in here. Yeah, just a great museum, just a great museum.
Yeah, like I said, I, I treat, I don't know, I, I treat everywhere I go as, as like a temple and I always walk left to right. So, you know, however you want to do it, there's no, there's no uh, rights or wrongs. I like this one as well because I'm into meditating and this one just makes me feel relaxed when I look at it. John Lafarge. Meditating on human life. Yeah, I think this might be the best way to show you what the museum has to offer by doing this. Um, like I said, you come here. Ah, here we go. Snap the whip. Right here. Winslow Homer. Okay, and this is a pretty cool painting because there is there are two versions of this painting by Winslow. There's one here in the butler. And this one, if you look at that picture, again, watch for those because they're electric and they will tell you not to get uh, not to get past it. But this is Snap the Whip. Snap the Whip was a game uh, people used to play. I've not played it, I don't think, maybe in kind of a weird way we have. But uh, there's this one, and there's one at the Metropolitan uh, Art Museum, which is in New York. Um, and I'm trying to think. I don't see that one here. But the one in New York at the Metropolitan does not have the mountains in the back. Okay? It's just a schoolhouse and the kids playing. This one, being from the area that we're in, I think that's why that he made two versions. This one kind of gives that uh, territorial look uh, to it, that feeling. You know, the mountains were by the Pennsylvania, Ohio, and such. Uh, and I, yeah, like I said, I was looking for, I don't think, yeah, they don't have it. But yeah, if you look up, there are two versions. And one does not have the mountains. The one in New York does not have the mountains in the background. So I think that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But they're, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Winslow Homer, Snap the Whip. Okay, and there's some other ones that he drew and such. Wood engraving on paper, that's cool. Oh, that's, okay, that is, that, that's, yeah, I see uh, Harper's Weekly, so that must have been in the newspaper. But yeah, so interesting fact on that, that there's two versions of that. Very, very cool, very cool. I don't know if I showed you these ones. Okay. And and these. Yeah, art museums are always great. Here's another section. Now see, I believe we are in a section that would not have been the original part of the building. Uh, and he did, I think, don't quote me, man. I, I think he did leave, live across the street or, or somewhere in the area here. And he, he lost quite a few paintings in a fire. Um, but like I said, I'm not sure exactly. I think, I want to say that was across the street pretty much from where we are right now, where he used to live. And, uh, he lost some, but... Yeah, this is always a nice American Impressionism. I like that one too. That one, I don't know. I don't know. Looking at that, it makes me feel like I have more money than I than I actually have. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and and wait till you see some of the art they have. This one, this one, I love too. I love this one. In my garden, Gary Melchers. That's one of my favorites as well. That one, you can see, you know, back in the day, you know, when people would go to the beach, they they, they wouldn't be like they are now. They they'd be in their full dress and, and such like that, you know, more uh, 
had more dignity or whatever you want to say. But yeah, that's a, that's a nice painting there. So yeah, that's, that's that section. And right here, again, this is a, this is a free museum for people. You can come in here. It's free to the people. Pro bono. Pro bono publico. Okay? That's what it was intended for. This is all, this wasn't here. That was the original part right there where that brick wall was. From when we walked in the door to this part right here, that would have been the original building. So this right here was all new. I told you, he left most of his estate uh, to the butler. Now, um, you can donate to the butler. You can donate. You can become a member of the butler. Uh, all that money goes to do what you see here, to add on, to add more art here. I'm telling you, it's a great museum. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand in the middle here right now, and I'm just going to do this kind of thing. Two floors up top, which we'll get to the second floor. We will get to the second floor. But this is this area right here. And uh, they do have, they use this, and I'm sure money goes, uh, you know, for the butler as well. They do have weddings here and different uh, other kind of events here that you could uh, rent for. I will show you one of my, one of my other favorites. We're going to go down there. We'll go down there, but let me show you something real quick. This painting over here. This is great. Watch. I keep an eye on it. Hope, hopefully it comes out in the camera. If not, you're going to have to come here and check it out yourself. Keep an eye on the painting. And it just moves. I'll do it one more time. One of the most fun paintings here. Like I said, if it didn't, if that didn't move the way I needed it to on here, you need to come here and check it out for yourself. That one's cool. I, I do dig that one. The Devil's Valentine. Cool. But we're going to go over here and uh, I'll show you in here and it goes downstairs. You can you, you can get lost in here, but it's fun. It, you know what I mean? There's, there's all kind of different places you can go. Right up there, if you look, if you look right, there's a Shiva. Dancing Shiva. Om Namah Shivaya. Right up in there. And this used to be on the second floor. This used to be, there's a little alcove uh, in there that used to sit in and look at that. There's the chakras. Yeah, different, uh, all kind of crazy, different art. Like I said, I, I'm not gonna stop by every single one. I know I keep saying that, but there's, I, I just can't, I can't, there's too much here. It'd be a five hour video. This area is kind of neat here. Yeah, you could just sit here and just like, you spend hours here, just hours. And this one, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this the correct way or not. If you look, I'm trying to get out of the way so my, uh, my reflection ain't in there. You can see a man walking. You spin this and you look through the black uh, plates, you'll see the man walking. It's, a, it's moving, he's moving in there. Yeah, it might be hard to see with my reflection.
Oh, Paul right there. We will go this way. We will go this way. Yeah, there's art. Always look up. Always look up, I tell you. And then these should be activated. Yeah, there we go. When you get close to it, it's activated. I'll stop at some of these so you can see. And if you get close to this one, maybe. Nah, I forget what that one did. This, this one, of, yeah, there they go. Feathers should move. Yeah. This one's really cool over here. Share. Let's try this one out though. Check this out. Hopefully it's on. Uh oh. Oh, yeah it is. I don't know, is it even working? It might not be working. It doesn't seem like this is working. It doesn't seem like this is working. This one, it should dance to the music. So something's wrong with it, I think. Yeah. Because that's all like that magnet and that like whatever you call it. Uh, and it, it would dance. So I don't know what's going on with that one, but uh, that one doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, there is what it's uh, supposed to be doing. outside uh, let's check this out here's reminds me of one of those gumball gumball machines let's follow the gumball Climbing up the stairs. Yeah, so it goes all over. You see, it goes up and it goes through all these. It goes down. <laughs> really awesome. We'll go in there as well. We'll go in there as well, not just yet though. And this one, if you, there should have been a mark. Oh, right here. So if you stand here and you crouch down, your thing shows up in all these facets right there. So that's kind of neat. Hopefully that, hopefully that shows up. I don't know. Um, We'll go in this room over here. This is a, this is the newest part that they uh, that they uh, built. I told you the other when we were looking outside, and I showed you that this was the newest part. This would have been the wall right here that you would have seen. You would have seen these steps. It was glass, and you would have seen these steps. But they did build this part, um, and this is the newest part of the museum. I think you can walk through here. Yep, and then it should have, yep, I thought so. Yeah, this is what we've seen from the outside.
And there is the outside. So yeah, I think that we're gonna go down. I'm trying to think of how to do this because you can go uh, everywhere in here. There's a lot of places to see in here. I can still hear the uh, that gumball machine <laughs> thing. Now we didn't go. Um, we didn't go in here. So let's let's do this. I usually go. This is like kind of the exit, but. Oh well. That's neat too, check that out. You look at that. And it's this, let me show you this first. So you got this sculpture right here. But the shadow that it makes is that man. How neat is that? I don't remember seeing this. See, they always had new stuff in here. Oh, okay, this is... Ah, okay. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the other side. I'll show you the beginning. Yeah, this is this is just fun in here. I would have went that way, but I want to show you the beginning on where that goes to. Yeah, I wish that was working. Yeah, I think there's uh, I think there's classrooms in here as well uh, for like students and stuff in here. Okay, here's the. This is where I usually go in in this one yeah see they have an auditorium and they have lectures and stuff like that but here is this and yeah i thought this was a newer one i must have not have been here since they did this this section this one changes all the time too And I, yeah, they're right there. There's an auditorium in here. They do movies. So yeah, you can sit here, whatever, whatever um, installation they have, hopefully you can see me, it's dark. Whatever installation they have going on in here, um, I think not too long ago it was like, I want to say tagging, but it was somebody that did uh, um, signs. They painted like the murals and stuff on the billboards and stuff like that. I remember that one here. Uh, there was one in here with, with uh, uh, tattoos. There was all kind of pictures, like it was older people with tattoos it was it was it was cool it was cool but yeah they changed this one all the time and the movie that they show is uh like a questionnaire and, and info on uh i i do like these these are pretty cool so i just caught a little bit of that so he's from tallahassee florida and uh he works in his garden and he uh loves the animals and you can tell you can just see Okay, now. Okay, now we can go. Here we are. Now we can go, and I'm, I'm gonna take you downstairs. I'm gonna take you downstairs. Like I said, I can't stop at every single one. We would be here for hours, so I'm trying to show you everything this museum has. Stop at some of my favorite ones. Because, heck, it's my video, so I'm going to show you my favorite ones. Um, 
But I'm telling you, if you've never been to the Butler, you need to get your butt over here and check this out. Now this is the basement. And I think at one point they used to have some kind of shadow thing down here where you would where you would sit at one side or something and, and like draw the shadow of the other person. If I remember right. Yeah, you could spend hours. Like I could sit down here and just stare at stuff for hours and hours. I wish I could just sit here and do that for you guys. Sit here forever. This too, I think this. Um, I, I think I do remember when, I think they had a meet and greet with, with the artist here not long ago. There's Abraham Lincoln. We talked about him. Uh, uh, what did we say? We said that uh, Joseph Butler Jr. was actually uh, friends with Abraham Lincoln. How crazy is that? I like that one right there. I do like that. Soldiers on the ship with Statue of Liberty in the background. Over there. Wow, I like that. There's the uh, soldier and the Indian. They actually have some presidents on these little round, like I, I, don't, I don't know if they would be on ivory. I think they're on ivory. We'll, we'll show you there and we'll see, we'll kind of see what presidents he was friends with, uh, Butler was friends with, because they have all the presidents there. Look at that one. That's cool. Yeah, these are those installations that aren't here all the time um, because they change. Henry Ford. Yeah, this this actually we haven't got to it yet. It's on the second uh, it's on the second floor. This actually has it is the second largest art installation of Native American uh, paintings uh, here at the Butler. But we will get here's a here's a little uh, info on the artist right there. But yeah, when we get to the second floor, you'll see that. But I think we get to the presidents first, uh, then we'll go, we'll, we'll, we're traveling, man. <laughs> and it's always loud down here. It's always weird because they have the, they have the vent. But yeah, this is all activated too when you walk by. This should come on. Oh, there we go. stuff down here this was this was like kind of one of those installations that were upstairs That kind of scared me a little bit. Huh. 
Yeah, they're all activated when you when you walk by. So yeah, that was the that was the downstairs. Um, what's this plaque say? Oh, the Beecher Center. Okay. Everybody walking outside, going to classes and stuff. Okay, now we'll go up. I like this window too. I actually, yeah, okay, we're on, I had to think of where I'm at for a minute, so we were downstairs. And I think you can go in here. I think it just stops right here, yeah. All right, so let's get back out. Let's get back out to the front and wait till you see this next area that I'm going to show you. There's uh, there's this one statue in here. The detail is crazy. It's crazy. So, yeah, right in here. Oh, they moved it around. Okay, they moved it around a little bit. They had used to have a little bit more stuff in here. He used to be like right here. This one they added not too long ago. Um, this, I don't know why, but it's one of my favorites here. Alex Katz, the jockey. Don't know why, I just like it. I like the way it's drawn. Yeah, this is like the sports room. But this right here is insane. So there's who made it. And if you look, I, I don't want to get, because I don't know if this is like activation uh, tape or not. And you can see all the cameras all around. But look at the detail in his face and it's just you'll see the sweat just it's insane it is insane there is one more here that i'll show you that is even more insane like if you didn't know <laughs> if you didn't know you would you would think it would it's crazy but it's on our way out so that one is insane though you come here, you got to check this one out because I don't think the video is going to uh, show what I really want to show. But that one, that was, it is insane. I don't remember this one either. Huh. All right. So, yeah, they got another statue down here. couple of them and then over here as well and you can go out here and they have more more out there when you come here and you want to check it out you can and we'll go in there maybe at the end because they have a uh, that's the gift shop over there. You can go in there. They have a gift shop over here. And if you go up there, there's like a, you can buy some of the uh, other fine arts and paintings. There's actually, a, I forget her name, but she goes down to East Liverpool all the time. And uh, you'll see her at the corner. She paint. there's a building down in East Liverpool that it's, it's an awesome building. A lot of people take pictures of it. She paints it. Um, but here we are on the second floor here. Yeah, I can see they move some stuff around. All right, we'll walk over that way and we're gonna go all the way around. But here we are on top. Last time I was here, I was probably here a couple weeks ago 
and they were having a wedding because they had this all with the tables and whatnot. Um, actually, what I'll, I think I'll, what I'll do, because uh, I do want to go in there for you. Hello. How are you? Good. Um, and here's the other section, which I really want to show you in there. Oh, can we get in there? Okay, yeah. Yeah, this one's interesting too. Okay, I'll walk around here and show you this real quick. Again, I wish I could stop at every single one, but this will get you to come here personally. This one I really like as well. That's one of my favorites. Hopefully, hopefully we can go in those areas. I told you the second floor, they change stuff up all the time. Um, these, th this one, I really dig. I really dig that one. That is great. But yeah, they change the upstairs, so sometimes they have it closed off and you can't get into certain areas. Hopefully that's not the case today. That one back there too, I really like. And I'll take you in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and we'll come back out and I'll go, I'll go from the other way because I have a I have a process that I want to do here. That's a clear picture, wow. Oh, they must have something going on here. We'll go in there too. There's, if we would have kept coming up that other steps, we would have came up in there. Here's some regional photography. I think these might change from time to time as well up in here. I always liked industrial photography too. I really dig stuff. That actually reminds me of the, uh, the Cleveland Aquarium. When you go to the Cleveland Aquarium, they have... They, they have parts of it that they left the industrial part like in the aquaria. It's, it's really crazy. I did do a video on that as well. And I think two people can stand here. One person here and one person on the other side. And uh, there's the description. It requires two viewers. So, paying it on by myself. <laughs> Here's some more of those crazy, uh, crazy installations too, like with the balls and stuff. Like this one, it's coming up. There's the ball right there. Let's see. This is going to be like an hour and a half video. <laughs> That's all right. Here we go. Here it goes. What's 
sit through there. Oh, you know what I bet you that does? There has to probably be so many balls that come down there and drop it. Uh, heavier it gets, it drops and it, it repeats itself. And this, that goes down to where we were earlier. We don't need to go down that way. Um, right here, we're gonna actually go to see this picture right here. That's, this is probably my all time favorite art at the museum right there. And there's Snap the Whip right there. Yeah, see they have, a, they have meetings going on. I've seen some people in the, uh, the room. So yeah, this is a uh, very a very cool place in here. Should go in there and grab some orange juice or whatever. We did not go in here. So we'll go this way. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, the light, the different light room in here. I like that, the way the shadows cast on that. This one should be one of those, like, uh, keeps going and going and going. Yeah, see. This I like, too. I just like the... I don't know what this... Re I don't know what this reminds me of. When I look at this, it reminds me of something of my childhood. I don't know what. I don't know why. J it just does. The colors. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it would be, but it 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 does. It reminds me of of something. But I I I do like that. I do like that. So that was that section. That was that section. Yeah, very awesome. Very awesome museum. Very awesome. Yeah, we will be going into this room. I told you, I mentioned that they have, this is the second largest installation of Native American paintings that's the room right there but we're not going to go to there right now because i have i have a different plan got to go left to right got to go left to right that's the only thing that's reminiscent of her is those flowers mm -hmm. okay now, like I said, this, we're going to have, we are going to have to go around the other way. We are going to have to go around the way because they're, they're doing something over here. Hopefully I can get to the Paul Stanley area. They change all the time here. But this is what I was talking to you about right here. We checked this outside. 
um, that that church in 2000 in 2005 in 2005 they purchased the church over here and it, it was mainly for storage that's what they purchased it for um, and then they made this walk now if you've never been here or maybe you have and you never ventured across this bridge you're in for a treat because they have folk art over here I, did I mention that I have a favorite part that I think everything's my favorite part here at the museum but this right here is probably the most coolest coolest area over here at, at the Butler again they purchased this church it was supposed to be for storage and I think there's offices over here and stuff like that but now that we're over here again that building right there that like that section would have been butler jr's original original museum to display his personal art collection of american art you're gonna love it over here this is this is great over here okay this is very awesome Yeah, I don't know how many people actually come over here to check this out. There's a description of American art, American folk art. These have been here forever, the bells. Glass bells. This, I really love. The raven in the ring. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you those rooms that were behind me just yet because they are awesome. Now this this area here is new to me because this used to have a bunch of uh, birds in here. It had a big book of all drawings of birds and stuff, and there was like some uh, statues of birds and, and like decoys and stuff like that. Um, so he must have wanted, the artist must have wanted the collection back, or the family probably wanted the collection back, and now we have uh, the watercolor collection in here. And I've never actually been in that church down there. I've never been in it. I want to go in it. I want to see it, like, up close. This right here is glass. They, they can, I think they can open it. Yeah, they open up because there's a little air pocket right there but yeah they hold weddings like I said they hold weddings and stuff in here but yeah so something new in this area I do like watercolor though that's probably one of my favorite uh, watercolor is my is one of my favorite um, uh, uh, mediums Okay, now you're gonna you're gonna love this though. Here's the duck decoys, old barber shop sign. Look at this. Now, who is ready for something freaking awesome? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> this right here the art of the carousel I can just spend all my time in here looking at this it's all carousel art look at that and you ever see you look at this man but do you notice the figurines on a corner of those Yeah, this is awesome over here. This is just great. And they tell you what it's from. You know, carousel panel painted, decorations and mirrors up top. Alan Herschel, big name in the carousel industry right there.
There's a umbrella stand. It's a bear. And one of my favorites, a pig. I always like when they have the different animals on the uh, carousel. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is this is probably my favorite in here as far as this goes. This one or that one over there. But this this one here, just because I think mainly it's a, you know, it's a pig. the jewels in there. The cherubs. And I'll show you something here in a second. I don't want to show you it right now either because we're on the carousel. Uh, look at these. Yeah, this one is probably one of my favorites here. This one and the pig. And then there's a side panel right there. But I was talking about that. I was going to show you that there's a little dollhouse right there that they have in here. And there miniature house there's the information about it and look it's all decorated inside and if you come to the back look at that well that's a nice you got some cheese on there some bread wow on that little plate yeah how neat is this huh Look at that. Look at that dining room table. So yeah, that was neat. So there's the art of the carousel room, little folk art area in here that again, I don't know how many people actually come across the, the uh, bridge to come over here, but this is waiting for you. Then you come over here and this is the sea area. They have the different ships. Different paintings. Different floats. Like, look at this. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Man, that's crazy. little map back here. Now, another I told you, another one of my favorites. I know. Hey, Jim, you already told me your favorite. They're all my favorite. This room is very cool. It's all the dolls. show you all these out of all the dolls in here she's probably my favorite right here and now right there 1876 it tells you kind of if you look it tells you the time period of what things would be what they were wearing what you know at what event or what and I do like that that painting as well I'll go down this side so you can see some of these. Yeah, this is, if you don't know this is here, man, you, you, now you do. You got to make your way over across the bridge. All right. So, and here's the other information right here. So that breaks it down and then you can read all about what uh, they are wearing. All right, 
So that was the area across the bridge. This is on the upstairs of the church. Um, yeah, I'm glad I can share this with you because I, I, I mean, I know quite a few people that never actually been to the butler before and uh, they are really missing out. They are really missing out. So here's those presidents that I were talking about that they were supposed to be like on ivory and I couldn't remember. Um, but uh, here, let's just check some of these presidents out down here. There's George Washington. And uh, what did we say? We said that Joseph Butler Jr. was friends or acquaintances with everybody from Abraham Lincoln, which 16th president right there, Abraham Lincoln, all the way to uh, Calvin Coolidge. Keep cool, keep Coolidge right there. Um, yeah, that's a lot of presidents he was friends with then, right there. Well, there's one of my least favorite presidents right there, Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, seventh president. Um, why is he my least, least favorite? Because he passed the Indian Removal Act of 1830. Now, if you don't know your history uh, about that, and they, they don't tell you in school either. This is, this is when they wash things over. And I wish they wouldn't. I wish you know the, the, the truth. If you look up Andrew Jackson, if you looked him up in, in like your school books or history books, you're going to see that you he did some good things. Like I know, I know he, did, uh, he did clear the national debt. I do know that. But he also, again, the Indian Removal Act of 1830. But he forcibly did it. He went into these areas with military and forced the Indians out. Um, because they were getting in the way of progress is, is what his things do. And if you also look up, it's gonna, it's, you're probably going to see that he made more, he created more land for the Americas. Well, that's how he did it. They won't tell you in that in the school books or whatever, but that's how he did that. He went in and forcibly removed all the Indians off their land, their land, and, uh, you know, him and his uh, Indian Removal Act. You know, so so I, I, I don't like Andrew Jackson at all. He's one of my least favorite presidents. But on the other on the other spectrum of that, we're talking about Coolidge, um, which Butler was friends with. Coolidge signed for the Indian Citizenship uh, Act, and that was that was if they were born in the United States, they could become citizens, which. They were here long before us anyway, so whatever. But, you know, I, from one extreme to, to, to the next, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. But cool, talking, about cool, or talking about Coolidge here, he actually had a pet raccoon named Rebecca in the White House. Um, it, was actually, it was actually sent to him, I believe, for Christmas. He got sent a raccoon to eat. He wasn't about to eat a raccoon, so he kept it as a pet, and uh, even had a even had a uh, 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 neck not necklace, but even had like a because a leash, a collar, uh, that uh, pet raccoon of the White House. I think it said on it, and he would walk around the White House. Um, I'm trying to think too, who else had a pet? Uh, Harrison, Harrison. Was it Benjamin Harrison? Benjamin Harrison. He actually had a a pet goat. I don't think it was roaming inside the White House, but I remember a story that uh, uh, his kids they they were pulling his kids around on a wagon or whatnot, and it, it got actually in the grounds of the White House. So there's so many stories we could talk uh, about these presidents. Um, uh, but we're not going to do that. We could be we could be here for another five hours doing that. But yeah, uh, out of all the presidents uh, up here, I can't stand this guy. Don't like Andrew Jackson. Right here, you're going to love this man. 
If if you're into like Kiss, the band Kiss, Paul Stanley. I'm gonna get into this middle of this room right here. Check this out. Wow. This is he has some awesome art too, but Paul Paul Stanley the other side. We'll start over here. I will show you all these pictures. I will go by every single one of these because this will, won't be here forever. Actually, Paul Stanley was here last month. I think it was like a thousand bucks. Uh, to come, it was like a donation kind of thing. He came here, he talked with you and stuff like that. You might have got a, a painting of his or something like that. I forget what, it, but it, I know it was a thousand bucks. But I'll go by each one, man. Stop and read it. Self-portrait. It's him without the makeup. His painting is very, very awesome, too. Detroit Rock City. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, the art is awesome down here. His art is awesome. I was always a KISS fan anyway, and Paul Stanley was my favorite uh, band member. Yeah, I'd go slow and show you every single one. Marilyn Monroe. Now they did have, I was going to do this video, I wanted to do a video on a butler for quite some time. Um, I was going to do one not long ago. Well, there's Jimi Hendrix. They had John Cougar Mellencamp and his son, uh, an art installation with their art in here. Yeah, I, I, I do dig his art, man. I really do. I think they're on their farewell tour, too, their last tour. Uh... Maybe their real last tour, because I think they had like 20 of them <laughs> last tours, but I think uh, I think this is their final tour this time around. It's probably one of my favorites right here. Very cool. So, if we go in here, like I said, this is the second largest installation of uh, Native American art in here, which is ironic. Uh, talking about some of the presidents. Very, uh, very somber in here as well. Yeah, you you come in here and you know your history and stuff like that. It's it's uh It's sad. Preaching to the Indians. Must be trying to Christianize them. <laughs> yeah, I try to show you all these too because this is an important part. Important part too.
I almost feel like I'm in a library and I'm afraid to talk in here, but... Uh, Bronco Buster. history in here. <laughs> and my favorite. So, well, again with my favorite. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this won't be here for very long, so if you want to see it up front, you know, in person, uh, I suggest you come here. I think it's I think Paul Stanley's is here till August or uh, October 8th, I believe. Then there'll be something new in here. But uh, we'll head back downstairs, and um, there's a couple more rooms to go check out. Early 20th century. I like those chairs, but I like that style as well. I like this one too. This is another one of my favorite right there. It's one of my favorites. All right, this one has a couple cool uh, paintings that I like in here. There's the one, and to be honest, out of all the paintings in here, this one is my favorite. Robert Gwaltney, Children Dancing. Something about this painting I really, really, really like. This is, this is probably my favorite. Well, it is my favorite out of every piece of art in here. I like that one. Carnival at Sunset. I like that one. And I like the style like this too. I really like that. I just like the way they're dressed and you picture the history, that time period. This one here, Lincoln the Rail Splitter is that one. It should be, I think it's called Lincoln the Rail Splitter by Norman yeah, Lincoln the Rail Splitter by Norman Rockwell. I believe this was the museum's first Norman Rockwell painting. Yeah, look at that. Now, if you don't know what a rail splitter is, a rail splitter is, it's either a person or a machine that would cut logs down into, you know, boards or whatever, mainly for fencing is, is what it was, rail splitter. Um, you can see he has his axe. I mean, he's, he's super tall in the first place, but reading a book right there. I don't know. We know he was a lawyer, so maybe he's reading a law book up there. I don't know. But uh, yeah, look at that. yeah, that's another fascinating story about this, too, if you don't, didn't know. This was previously owned by... Uh, another presidential candidate, and it does say it in there, but I was going to tell you about it anyway. Ross Perot uh, was the previous owner of this painting. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very neat. Very neat. Now, <laughs> wait till we go into this room over here. 
I told you there's another statue that is crazy crazy looks real <laughs> this one I swear the first time I ever came in here I thought this was real I thought he was real look at him how crazy is that <laughs> that is awesome yeah, it, it it's so real from just the wrinkles, the everything. But then you know, if you look at the if you look at the stuff he's wearing, you'd be like, oh, that's from a totally different time period. But you know, yeah, if you're a kid or whatever, I remember walking through here and seeing that, and I swear, I swear it was it was real. I swear it was real. Yeah, this is the last section. Um, of the butler. Yeah, I almost feel like I'm in trouble. He's looking at me over there. And then you got this right here. You know, because of the steel mills in Youngstown. Yeah, look. There's where we came in at. I might go the back way, though. I might go out the back way for everybody so you can see. There's all the workers, the furnace. There is a science and industry museum downtown which maybe i'll do maybe i'll do a video on that as well but they have some similar um art outside you know like that so yeah right here is the gift shop when you come in here and you make your visit and you come in here and you can buy there's the there's the scout up there a painting of the scout Lincoln right there which Butler was friends with we know there's some carousel up there yeah look there's the crack the whip now that's the Butler that's the Butler uh, version of it you go to New York the mountains aren't gonna be in the background yeah, they, oh they even got postcards of crack the whip Oh yeah, they do. They got all kind of crack the whip stuff here. Neat. Very cool. It's Mill Creek Park postcards, Ohio. Yeah, a little bit of little bit of everything down here for everybody. Okay, let's go out here and uh, we'll do our outro. Little bench. Yep. Yeah, school's school's back. But yeah, that was uh, that was the Butler, short for the Butler Institute of American Art, built in 1919, and it started as a uh, a, 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 a little public a public display of a private collection of Joseph Green Butler Jr. So very cool. If you haven't been in here, I suggest you come in here and check this out. It's free to come into, uh, but you can do donations and you can become a member. And, you know, but like I said, it's a free museum for the public to enjoy, just like it was intended to. So, I hope you like that. Might be a little long for what the video it was, but I, uh, I wish I. It, I wish I could spend a lot more time on on a lot more of the paintings and such like that but we we would have been in there for hours but I got to show you the, the main thing was the Paul Stanley uh, exhibit I really wanted to, I really wanted to show you guys that because those the top floor is the installations that are that change all the time but uh, yeah, 
and there's that walkway how cool is that but listen i want to thank everybody for coming on today's adventure i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it hit the like button hit the subscribe button and until i see you on the next adventure wherever that may be better than